Hi guys, listen, thank you so much for giving me the time to take off from Tester Talks yesterday. I had something come up, so I had to cancel, but today, it is Wednesday. It's a beautiful day to be alive. And today, we are coming. Listen, men, I love y'all. I love y'all so much, but we got to talk, okay. So I actually made notes today because I'm trying to do IGTV live or IGTV. I'm just trying to be cool, okay? Um, big things coming for Toaster Talks in the near future, but we're just trying different platforms. Um, so I made sure I made notes today because I could talk for 85 years and be like, oh, that was five minutes. So I have notes and today, we're, it's not Tuesday, but let's just do it. You already know. Listen, you already know what day it is. It is Tuesday. That means Tuesday Toaster Talks. Everybody, you know the snaps. Tuesday Toaster Talks. Okay. Man, hi. How are we? Are we doing great? Are we living our best life? And yes, I have a list. Get over it. Mind your business. We are here for it. Um man let's just talk okay if you are sitting next to me in the toaster let's just be talking let's shoot the bull let's have a convo let's just talk it out y'all are so awesome we love you we love you so much and y'all i know y'all take some flack and i've been talking to a few people and it's just cool to hear like their perspective and hear like how they think um society treats men or how women treat men or how other men treat other men like that's all another topic um so it's cool to just talk about that because I feel like we always talk about women and we always talk about that but we never talk about men and I'm not saying like in a bad way I'm just saying like it's a topic so I'm here to do that all right so men y'all were created by the lord with some amazing qualities y'all are protectors y'all are leaders providers Y'all bring provision into a household. Um, you guys are visionaries. You guys are focused. Like you are like, here's the task, do it. And it goes back to like evolutionary. If you kind of go through from that theory of men, this was it. To survive, we had to hunt. Not we, y'all. Hunt, kill, eat, repeat. So it was like, this is the task. If I don't do this, we gon' die today, Linda. And we didn't want that. And you guys are also driven. Um, so there's just some things I'm here to hype y'all up. But can we please just talk for a minute? Why y'all always just try to <laughs> go to Pound Town? Why you always try to pop, lock, and drop it? You know what I'm saying? Like, why we got to do that all the time? Can't you just go out with the girl and have a nice conversation and a dinner and not just want to bust down Tatiana? Okay, like... I get it, and I get the sex drive, and I get all that things, like biology. I understand. But dang, Daniel, like, I just want to have a conversation with somebody and not think that you just, like, imagining suspicious activities. Okay, there's that. Yeah, we get real, real. If you ain't ready, click up out of here because we coming for next. Y'all voted next, so we coming for next. But why you just, why y'all got to do that? Like, dang, can't we just talk? Like, you are a human being. And I just want to have a conversation. Like, I don't I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. But there's that whole thing. Um, and, okay, we're just going to come out strong. we already talking about brown chicka wow wow. And it's not even five minutes in the video. So let's just come for it. Okay. Let me calm down. Go to my notes. We see you at the gym looking fire. I see you with the six pack. I see you with biceps bigger than my dome. I see you. But how's your soul? How is your heart? How many times when I clap my hands? <laughs> How is your soul doing? Like, I see you look so good. Like, you a shoddy a 10. Like, I see you, but how's your heart? How's the inside? How are your emotions? Why y'all always got to hide back? Like, why y'all always just got to act like women can't handle the fact that you have insecurities too? Newsflash, 
insecurities don't know gender they're neutral if you're a man if you're a woman you have insecurities like that's just a fact and why you gotta act like you don't have them like I understand I came from women's next last week so we're not even gonna like talk about that but I understand that you've been hurt and I'm not saying I'm not negating the fact that you've gone through something or you've gone hurt or you've been through that whatever and I also said this is the year that we're dealing with our stuff this is the year that you're dealing with the things that hurt us like we're going to those places and we're dealing with them but the outside the outside of y'all child mm -hmm. like you you a 10 out of 10 but when i have a conversation with you and your insides are just uh, icky like you're gross we don't like that that's it's okay <laughs> for you to have emotions it is okay for you to care it's okay for you to have a soft spot for people like it is okay now listen if you crying more than i cry that's the problem if you are too soft and you're just like a little twinkie like i don't listen we don't want we don't want little twinkies okay we don't want twinkie men um so i'm saying it's just okay to have emotions and the, your physical part, obviously that's like important. And like, I, I believe that physicality and like your looks and stuff, like it does matter too. Like, cause if I see you across the room and I'll be like, dang, he cute, like shoddy where you come from. Like I can see you and see that like you cute as heck and Bob, but I don't know your personality. So looks do play an effect in that. Um, and maybe you smooth talking and you like, Hey girl. I mean, I'm not a guy, but if I'm, hey girl, like that's not smooth at all. But you know what I'm saying? Like you're smooth talking, like you can like get to a woman and like talk to her and like be sweet to her and like all this different stuff. Okay. Which is great. We love that. We need that. I'll get into that later. But how you treat your mama? Are you nice to her? How do you talk to other people? Like you can be smooth talking to me like in a moment, but how do you make business deals? Do you have integrity? Do you talk to other people? Do you serve other people? How do you talk to the person who was popping off at you or has a different belief in you? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's your life outside of the moment where you're just smooth talking to me? Like, do you have integrity? Like, I need, those are things I need to know. If you ain't have that, you ain't get this. Okay. And I know some of y'all value a lot of other things. Whether it's like your muscles or like your truck. Like I see you with your new truck. I see you with your car. Your Benz. Beamer Benz and Bentley. Remember that song? Um, I see you looking fly on the outside. But again, how is your soul? How is your soul? And Linda, you may have gone to college and you may have more degrees than a thermometer. But if I'm going through something and us women and we are talking to you and we need something, are you going to throw all of your knowledge and your education at us and try to fix our problem, which I'll get into later. So don't come for me so early. Or are you going to be able to just be a friend? You don't like listen to us because sometimes we need that. And men, don't say women are complicated. Okay, hold on. Take it back. Women are complicated. Yes, I understand that. But men, you complicated too. Sometimes y'all moody. Sometimes y'all be popping off. It may just be in different ways, but quit coming for us and telling us that we moody all the dang time. Because it ain't always just us. Y'all are complicated too. <sighs> all right. Men, three things. Three things that a woman needs. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready for this? Oh my gosh. Security. Security. <laughs> just, have you seen the Bomb Quickly video? Side note. I can quote the whole thing. She's like, security. Security. <laughs> you need to go. All right, Kylie. Number two, affection. And three, communication. I don't know why I'm yelling. I, Kylie, it's fine. Calm down. Women need security. Women need affirmation. Or sorry. Um, affection and women need communication. We need to know that you're going to make money. Listen, you ain't got to be like making it rain. Okay. You ain't got to be making it rain, but have a plan, have a plan for your finances, have a plan for how you're going to provide, especially if like your goal is marriage, 
and you want to be the leader. Ooh, okay, hold on. Let's talk about that for a minute. Y'all out here, like, this woman uh, or women, they never submit. And, like, I'm not talking about, like, submission and the fact of, like, your doormat and that. Maybe you should have talk about that. That probably would be good. Because I got, like, stuff about that, okay? Um, but, like, she won't submit to me or, like, she um, this and that. And it's, like, if you are called to be a leader and men are called to lead, okay, are you worth submitting to? Would you submit to you? Are you disciplined? Do you have integrity? Are you honest? Do you love people? Are you somebody that can be trustworthy? Like, do you give your opinion in love? Not your opinion, but I guess like, yeah, your opinion and what you're going to say. Like, do you give it in love? Are you gracious? Like, do you give mercy? And like all these different things, you can't just say like, submit to me and that's it. Boy, look at yourself in the mirror. Self-evaluate yourself and tell me. Would you want somebody to follow you and your behaviors and the way that you live your life? Women, <laughs> I hope y'all appreciate this. Men, I love y'all. I love y'all. I do. I really do. But we just got to talk about these things. Okay, affection. You better make me known. Okay? And I'm not talking like blast me on every social. If you do, that's cute. and That's great. But when we out in public and other people know, like, I'm your girl or I'm your woman, like, you should love me so well and give me affection so well that no other man would even question coming up to your woman, coming up to her wondering, like, oh, is she single? Like, oh, she kind of behaving like she out here, like she looking for attention. Like, you should love your woman so, sorry, I have to swallow my saliva. Sorry, that's so gross. I know. But, um, <laughs> Kylie, stop. You need to love your woman so much that it there's no doubt in her mind that she is yours. And affection doesn't always just mean pound town, okay? Like, it's not always that. It's just like the little love notes. Like, I know somebody who her boyfriend, like, writes her, um, little sticky notes in the morning like when she goes to work and that's so cute like that is showing affection like hold my hand like put your arm around me like hold my waist and or in public um say I love you all the time like give me flowers or like little comp compliments compliments listen compliments are so key we love them we love them like are those new jeans girl those are great Girl, your booty be popping in those jeans. You look so beautiful today. Like, I love the way you did your hair. And, like, whatever. Maybe you don't know, like, what's that stuff on your eyes? Like, your makeup looks great. Just, like, little things like that. Or if she's working out, like, ooh, girl, I see you. You know, like, just give those little. It's the little things, y'all. The little things that make the big difference. Um, let me just make sure I got through my list. Yes. I wrote down here. Make it clear I'm spoken for and leave no doubt in another man's mind that I'm your woman. Period. Three. <laughs> Communication. Listen, I already talked about it last week, but women speak about three times as many words as a man. Which is like 20,000 words, like 7,000. Dang, dang. Like, that's crazy. Um, I started being 50, which is what I said, but it's fine. Okay, the Lord gave me. He gave me it. It's a gift. It is a gift. And I know men, y'all are wired to fix problems. Like I said in the beginning, we gonna die. Hunt, kill, eat, repeat. Like, hey, I need you to like fix the garage door. Garage door's fixed. Like, you give me the garage door, I'm gonna look at it and say, let's just go buy a new one. Like, I could pick out a great one and I would research and I would like, you know, women, we're just like creative like in our minds and men are just so straight to the point, which is amazing and we love that. But sometimes I just need you to listen. I just need you to say or not say anything. Like, just hear. Like, just hear me out. Especially whenever the good Lord brings my beautiful chocolate man. He's going to be really patient. Because I can talk for days. I can talk for days. Um, But you don't always have to fix the problem. Like, just listen. And if she, like, say your woman comes home and she's like, girl. Or she's like, honey. Excuse me. 
Honey, you would not believe what Rachel Dunn said about me today. And maybe she's speaking on your name or she's like talking trash or whatever. And you like, where Rachel live, we pulling up on site right now. Like, we don't need that. In the moment when your woman's like talking to you and kind of just going about problems, like, I love, we love you. We love you for the fact that you want to fix it. And in times, there'll be times when you have the opportunity to fix it, but sometimes we just need a vent. And one great thing you can say is, I'm so sorry that happened to you. Um, I'm sorry that she's kind of going off like that. Um, what can I do to help you like in this moment? And maybe, and she'll tell you, be like, oh, I just feel so much better. Like, thank you for letting me just like vent. I needed that. You know, like I just needed to talk about it. Or she's going to be like, I don't know what to do. Like, do I go to my manager? Do I go, do I go to her? Like, there's times like you can talk about those things. But sometimes she just needs to like talk it out. You know what I'm saying? So just be there and listen to her. Um, Validate where she's at. Now, in my last relationship, I was going through a lot of like personal stuff. Um, and it was, it was a very hard spot for me. Um, and I would tell him like, I'm going through this and I'm like talking like sobbing on my 10 minute break at work. Like, sorry, Sam, I just drove by sobbing because I can't, like, I don't know how I'm supposed to like go through this. And <laughs> It was not like, didn't even validate where I'm at. Well, you're at work, so just go to work. Okay, obviously already working, but didn't need that, thanks. Um, but just validate where I'm at. Doesn't mean there's a difference. I'm not saying, yeah, have a pity party and like, sucks to be you. Like, let sit there and sip your pity tea. No, I'm saying like, I'm so sorry you're going through this. Like, how can I help you? Like validate the fact that I'm feeling like this, like validate my emotions. Cause if you don't validate where I'm at, then why the heck and Bob would I talk to you? If you're always going to throw a solution at me, that's not what I need. Sometimes I just need to just tell you like what's going on. Cause like you're supposed to be my partner. You're supposed to be my best friend. You're supposed to be the person that I can come to about that. And just validate where she's at. Just validate your woman validate where she's at and then help her if she needs that and then help guide together and come with a solution together about how to fix the problem or how to like go about the situation, how to, you know, bring up a solution, like tag team, you know, be a team, um, and stuff like that. And I know men that there's women out there that they be a little buck wild. And we're talking about people that are actually working on themselves. And I want you guys to do that too. And just know that, like if I am working on myself and you are working on yourself and then there's going to be a time when, you know, you come together and it's going to be the great partnership. Um, but just know that it's okay to have emotions. And I know we live in like that macho society. And I kind of talked about it last week on Toaster Talks. Um, but it is okay to be vulnerable. Like, listen, you have insecurities. You have things that you don't know what you're going to do. You need, if you're going to be the provider, like, you gotta have a job. Yo, how the heck can Bobby go and provide legally? Okay, legally. Like, how are you going to be able to do that? Like, those are going to be times and you are going to be insecure and you're going to be vulnerable and you're going to have to deal with some stuff that maybe you grew up with and maybe you didn't grow up with a dad or you didn't grow up with a mom and you had to grow up all macho man and not know, like, how to express your emotions. Like, we get that. Like, we understand that, but when you're with a woman who's safe and she's secure and she knows and she's able to like help you with that, then it's going to be okay for you to share that and to be vulnerable sometimes. Um, it is so scary as heck and Bob to be vulnerable. I mean, I'm out here with bands in my mouth and Invisalign having to suck back my saliva and talk to you about what, what women need. And it's crazy and I'm wild and loud and I'm yelling at a camera in the middle of the mountains and like cars keep driving by like that's vulnerable you know what I'm saying like it's scary it is so so scary to be vulnerable especially when you like real real okay like I understand I know it's so hard but you will never know unless you try and I know it's like super cheesy but if you're going to build a healthy relationship and then eventually like into marriage, 
you're gonna need to be vulnerable like that's gonna that's just listen linda that's inevitable it's gonna have to happen um so men it's okay to share your emotions it's okay to trust it's okay to like let those walls down it's okay to be yourself it's okay to have those doubts it's okay to have insecurities it's okay to not know what's um what the whole future holds, you know what I'm saying? But if you just know who you are and you're secure in that and you have a vision and you're disciplined and you're integral and you're going for it and you're living a life that is worth people following you, you're going to be okay. And obviously, like, with my faith, like, I believe if you put God first and everything else will follow suit. Is it going to be perfect? Uh, No read the word it rains on the just and the unjust which means problems are gonna happen we're gonna come into situations where we don't know what the heck i'm about to do and it's gonna be crazy and it's gonna be those times of uh i don't like i don't know like i need help but that's okay like it's gonna problems are gonna happen but when you have that woman that's in your life and you treat her like the queen she is because we are dang queens we queens up in here um, when you give her that security and she knows like, listen, maybe things are bad and like you work at McDonald's, but at least you have a plan. Okay. At least you have a plan. Like I can ride with you if you have a solid plan that I can back. Okay. Like I got you. If you compliment us and you show us that affection that we need, we need, it's not a want. It's not about her deserving it. We need it. Fill the bucket. Fill the bucket. And communication. Talk to us, y'all. Let us in. Let us know how we can help you communicate both ways. Validate. Hear us out. Help us solve problems when we need it. Listen when we need it. Be the shoulder to cry on when we need it. Um, yeah. I hope this was great. Uh, this is my first IGTV. Um, so I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> um, but I hope this was great and you guys liked it. Um, I want to kind of do like a series on the next like toaster talk. I'm not sure like what I'm going to talk about. Um, I might take like a week off um, to kind of like plan and kind of see. Um, we'll see what's going on. But yes, man, I love you guys so much, man. I love y'all. Y'all are freaking awesome. Okay. I love you guys so much. But we got to talk. We got to talk. And we did. We talked. Hi. Welcome to Toaster Talks. You're literally in the toaster. I hope this was helpful. I love you guys so much. Go out with that healthy lifestyle and we will be back next week, possibly, if not the week after that. And stay tuned. Big things are coming for Toaster Talks. Big things. Bye, you guys.